this bottom line you will see I will derive it based on the side view. But here, let's do this. Put it this way. Now I take this one. We'll do first degree ones, and then we will refine them at the later stage. Now this here, as you've seen, without putting the uh, line that I've done there, I'm going to do side projections here, as normally these lines would sit on a plane. And if we need to accelerate down here, there's going to be an extra line. So increase the scale on that. Let's go and do this line here. And do one more here. This way. So these go back into the side projection, put that there, take this one, copy paste it, move it down here, go to the pivot, rotate it ever so slightly. You see those lines are closing to each other, and then do. I'll generate one more curve off that. Turn it into a degree three and pull the last CV. I'll nudge it down basically, but let's get these out here on this plane. So you can see that. We go and you can see that this is the thing pretty well I'll, I'll curvature align this short one to the longer one and the last cv will be notched down and there you go you get that acceleration into there no i just need this other line here. Which actually we have generated as a rear projection. Stern of all the CVs. So we don't actually accidentally move them back in there. Done. So we'll have rear projection. Got the side projection working well for us. And then once we are in the surfacing of this area, we will define those. So we've got that in. What else do we need? We've got everything that we need in theory. So we've got all of those, we've got the Y0, we've got that. One other thing that we will need is run face of these surfaces. What I'd like to do is I'll generate the Y0 curve there. And 
and for the sake of simplicity and getting everything working easily, what I'll do, I'll generate one little surface for that area, then for the other ones, as they seem to have similar angles, as you see, we will do one surface swept through, so we will have an equal distancing to the front edge there, and that will be the front face, and then we will be projecting those lines onto that in the rear view. So that's going to be our diffuser. Those things there. That boxy thing will be added afterwards. But we will need the Y0 line there to resemble to this section we'll go there. So that will pull this line from there up. We'll give it a degree two. Turn on the CVs on that. That CV moves core forward, core rearward, sorry. And we've got something resembling the surface there. I'll avoid building that awkward bump there. I want a plane going up to that point and then the diffuser shoots up. Okay. That should be it for the big bigger building blocks for this car. And then we will detail these later on after we've got the surfaces. One more thing that we could add now in would be this air outlet. Box it in like that. I'll build this as a projection as well. It's going to make everything a lot easier. So we'll put that there. Line goes up there, and the inner line will be defined by that edge there. So we will be building a surface in there, tubular offset for that edge, and the rest will be this will be these projected curves. So a bit of fine tuning on that. Give it some lead in. That's about it. Turn these back. And this is what we do to keep it nice and flexible. Everything gets defined when we're building the actual surfaces. As you'll see, there are some areas we will, we will define if we stick to those can or not. And we keep going this way. So that's it for the rear wire frame. Got the main stuff in, the rest of it is detailing. And at a later stage, we will jump in and do the surfacing there. Thank you for tuning in and I'll catch you later.